demo how you can use attributes in the newest update. You head over to your organization and go to attributes and make a new attribute. And this could be seniority, and this could be a number or a text. Um, you could have a single select. Let's call this one junior, mid, and senior. And then we save this. And then bam, now you have your seniority. Let's do another one. Let's do Terry territory. And we'll have this could be actually multiple select because you could have multiple uh, territories. So you have Latin, we have North America, Europe, and what else? Asia. <coughs> Uh, I don't know, let's go with that. Um, I forgot. Save this one. Coolio. So now we have six options. And we can now go to our members. And uh, let's just take me, for example. And, or maybe Sean. Let's edit Sean. And now. We can, oh, my face is in the way, go to edit. And as you can see, we have now attributes. Uh, we can have mid and he's in Europe. And we update this. And as you can see now, if we search for Sean and we take a look at his profile, you see he's in uh, seniority mid and territory Europe. This is perfect for sales teams, uh, engineering, um, anytime you want to add attributes to people. And what's even better is now with Round Robin, you could assign people based on their attributes. So you could make a link that says, give me only um, senior sales reps for North America. Um, so you kind of decouple the whole team aspect with attributes. And it's much easier to maintain. We can sync this with your HRIS system. So if you keep your attributes, you know, seniority, territory, and everything in a central place, we can sync with that. Um, and by just adding people to your HR system, they will be assigned to the right link. Um, I hope that helps. Um, good luck, and uh, give me any feedback if you have some.